guys, this is Scruffy Knitter here on YouTube. So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to knit the Kitchener Stitch. Keyword there, knit, not sew. So for all of you knitters out there who absolutely hate sewing like I do, this is an easy way to do uh, top-down socks instead of doing toe-up socks. Um, that way you can um, go ahead and close off here on this last couple stitches. So the way that you set this up, so usually when you're using double points, you have like uh, three needles or four needles that you actually have the active stitches on, the live stitches. So what I've gone and done is I've removed, I slipped the ones that were on the third needle, or the second needle to the third. That way I have, um, you know, when you have half the heel this side, half the heel this side, and then you have the instep across this needle here. So um, all the heel stitches are now on one needle here, and then you have your instep on the other. So um, this is a four step process. So what you want to do is you have your working yarn here um, that's attached to your ball. So I went ahead and cut it from the ball. I gave myself about a good 18 inches here. Um, that way I can work with it um, when you have to pull it through the stitches here. So I will go ahead and show you the setup process. So first, so you have your stitches like this. Um, your live stitches you're using where the working yarn is coming from is on the top needle. So what you'll do is you will take your bottom stitch, the first stitch on the bottom here, you will knit that stitch, and you will pull the yarn through, like so. So you pull that all the way out, and you'll leave that on the needle. And then the second step is you're going to purl the first stitch on the top. So you go around here, and you will purl that stitch, pull the yarn through. Hang on a second here. and you'll leave that stitch on the needle. So the way this works is you will always purl the big first stitch on the bottom when you're starting on the Kitchener, Kitchener stitch. So you'll go ahead and you'll pull that out there, that bottom stitch, and you'll purl that, pull the yarn through, and you'll slip that stitch off of the bottom needle. So you no longer have that stitch on the needle. And then you will knit the next stitch on the bottom You're going to knit that, pull the yarn through, and leave that stitch on. So don't pull that one off after you get done with that. And then on the top needle, you're going to knit the first stitch. So you'll knit that one, pull the yarn through, and you'll slip the first stitch off, just like you did the bottom. And then you're going to purl the next stitch on the top. And you'll pull the yarn through and leave that stitch on. And you just repeat this process, so purl first on the bottom, pull the yarn through, slip the stitch off, knit the next stitch on the bottom, pull the yarn through, leave that stitch on. Knit the first stitch of the top needle, pull the yarn through, Slip the stitch off, purl the second stitch on the top needle, pull the yarn through, and leave the stitch on. So you'll complete this process until you get all the way to the last two stitches, and I'll show you what to do when you get there. Okay, so now we come to the last four stitches where we've left these last two on here. So what you're going to do is you'll go back to the bottom as you would in your normal pattern and purl this stitch on the bottom, the first stitch here. Slide that stitch off. Knit the next one down. Pull the yarn through, leave the stitch on. And then on the top here, you knit the first, just like in the normal pattern. Pull the yarn through, slip the stitch off, and here you have the last two stitches. So you'll just purl this one as before. And there's nothing left to do with this stitch, so actually you can just slip that one off once you pull the yarn through. And you'll have the last stitch on the bottom, which is just to purl. 
So once you purl that one, you have your tail and you have this little piece here. You can use your stitch corrector or a crochet hook or something like that. And you'll go, I go inside the sock here, flip it inside out. And then you find where that uh, tail yarn is and you just pull it through to the inside of the sock and then you weave in the end. Give it a nice little tug. And there you have a closed sock too, without having to sew it. friends who always struggle with sewing the toes closed, um, this is a much easier way of doing it, in my opinion. Um, so like, comment, share, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Scruffy Knitter, and you can find me on Ravelry where you can find my patterns at Scruffy Knitter One. So until next time, enjoy your week.